Hey guys, it's Melanie. Today I have a video centered all around candle warmers. This is something that has become of interest to me over the last month or so, mostly because we just remodeled our house and we completely repainted the entire downstairs, including our ceilings. And um, it wasn't until we started the painting project that I realized how much soot and dirt and other things had accumulated on our walls and ceilings and the one thing that I can definitely like do something about is the soot. <laughs> the dust and stuff you know is a lot of dust that is left over from the construction of both of our bathrooms. It's kind of in our air ducts at this point and it just gets circulated around and we frequently change our um air filters and stuff so we try to manage that as best we can but it's honestly the easiest thing for me to take care of is the soot from burning candles now I'm very careful with always trimming my wicks and making sure that if a candle does start producing a lot of soot that accumulates on the side of the jar I always at that point just immediately stop burning that candle and will either chunk it up and put it in a warmer or you know put it on a hot plate warmer and use up the rest of the candle that way and that kind of got me thinking about different types of warmers and ones that I can leave on even when I leave the house because for me oftentimes I'm kind of coming and going frequently from the house you know I have to drop off Stella at preschool she's only there for two hours so I have to go back and pick her up a couple hours later and there have been times where I have left the house and um have accidentally left a candle burning and I didn't realize until I was like a mile or so away and I had to turn around come back home blow that candle out you know and that just turned into a time suck <laughs> so I wanted to find some good options that would still allow me to get maximum use out of my candles but also to be able to utilize the candles in a cleaner and even safer manner so I decided to buy um, a candle crock which I'm going to show you and then also another hot plate warmer that has the option to be like a regular like you know either Scentsy or Sensationals type warmer where you have the little ceramic dish that goes on top that you put your wax melts in so um, I'm going to show you guys this one first since I just pulled it up here so I ordered both of these off of Amazon I will of course link them down below for you and you can you know check out other people's reviews on what they thought of these I've had really great luck with both so for me both of these are definitely two thumbs up like you don't have to talk about whether I like them or not I think they're fantastic I like the style of this one a lot um, I had another one that was in like a bronzy type color I don't know where I put it when we started remodeling our house I packed a bunch of stuff up and now I can't find the dang thing <laughs> so I'm kind of mad because it was a gift for my mom and I really liked it and it'll pop up at some point I just honestly don't know where I put it so I ordered this one because the new color scheme in our house is a lot more centered around neutrals grays whites creams so um, this fit in perfectly it was also kind of you know like modern looking so warmers like this are great because they're basically the main feature is that it's a hot plate warmer so this piece right here you plug this into the wall you turn it on it heats up and then you can place a candle on top of it now you can do bath and body works candles you can do yankee candles you can do goose creek whatever fits the diameter of this guy down here so this is really great if you have a candle that is like half used up like with this one here <laughs> and you find that it's just not performing really well when it gets to the end and you just want to warm up that last little bit get the last of the fragrance out the hot plate warmers are really great for that um, this one gets nice and warm but it's not you can definitely touch it it doesn't get like hot at all it just gets warm here but you know this hot plate portion here gets definitely a lot warmer than the outside ceramic portion here so you don't want to be like you know touching this or letting your kids get near it um, it's not like boiling hot but it's definitely hotter than you probably want little hands to be touching so and you don't want them playing around the melted wax anyway one not good <laughs> 
to ingest by anyone, but also, like, it just makes a mess. Like, if you spill this when it's completely melted, you are going to have an epic mess on your hands that's going to be a nightmare to clean up. So um, always keep this stuff out of the reach of children, obviously. But anyway, these are great when you have a half-used candle and you just want to, like, get rid of that puppy. Um, so you can set that on there. Or if you wanted to, you could even chunk up this wax, you know, take a knife and sort of break it up in there. Um, or you could even melt it and then pour it into an ice cube tray. I have a video that I will link down below for you where I show you how I make my own tarts with just Bath and Body Works candles or really any candle you can use that trick with. So that video will be linked down below if you have more questions about it. But um, so you can see with this candle here that I did melt it. Now, when you use these plate warmers, there is glue that holds the wick to the bottom of the candle here. The heat will loosen that glue and your wicks will start to travel. So you can see here that the wicks released from the bottom and move to the outside. So you no longer want to light a candle that you had on a either in a crock pot or on top of a melter like this. Just don't do it. Um, I have heard that the integrity of the glass can be compromised after you leave the glass sitting on a warm surface like this for an extended period of time. So just don't do it. And most definitely don't light the candle while it's also on the hot plate warmer. I feel like that goes without saying, but don't do that. <laughs> You do not want this glass to get overly warm and then possibly break and make a giant mess. So pick what you're going to do. You're either going to burn the candle or you're going to melt it. <laughs> do not do both. Um, but anyway, so this is great. Um, this wax is now completely... I can still get a hint of the fragrance, but basically I just melted the last of the fragrance out. No, your wax will not disappear if you're melting it, like when you're burning it. So just, you know, like don't sit there waiting for this to go down. It's not going to. <laughs> what you're doing is releasing the fragrance oils, like with the heat that is created when everything is melted. Um, it basically throws the fragrance oils into the air. Um, and then when you're all done, this will be left smelling kind of waxy. <laughs> Maybe with a hint of the fragrance remaining, but you can tell when this starts wearing down and you're like, yeah, it's done. From my experience, when I have had a Bath and Body Works candles that I've burned about to the halfway point, and then I put it on the melter, um, I usually can get an additional probably five, six, tops seven days worth of melting out of this. So that means leaving this on here either 24 hours a day, I just leave mine on. You can certainly turn them off at night, but like there, this isn't going to overheat or anything. It's not going to like blow up. Um, so usually most days I will leave it on 24 hours a day, but sometimes I will want to, you know, like have a different fragrance going. So I'll turn this off and then turn it back on. But usually if it's at the halfway point, a minimum of five days worth of like solid like you know eight nine ten hour burning each day or melting I guess I should say so anyway um, once this is done I just take it off I let the wax harden and then I put it in my empties bin to show you guys at the end of the month so you're gonna start seeing a lot of candles that look like they're only half used but they're actually completely finished so I get more I guess use out of my candles by melting them than burning them because we all know that a Bath and Body Works candle while they say they go for 25 to 45 hours I think 24 25 hours is like the max that I get out of my Bath and Body Works candles when I burn them and sometimes that's generous <laughs> so I find I get more use out of my candles by melting them than when I'm burning them so anyway this is great when I want to put in tarts, I just put the little ceramic dish on top, put my tarts in there, usually two, and then I turn it on and then I walk away and it's just like any other Scentsy warmer or Sensationals warmer that I have from Walmart. Great. Love this. Very multi-purpose. The second thing I'm going to show you guys is the candle crock. And um, sorry if this video is going to be a little bit longer, but I feel like there's probably a lot of like questions about... Um, the candle warmers and crocks. So this is what a candle crock looks like. Um, this was actually just melting downstairs in my entryway. 
and uh, so it's it's still warm but it's okay for me to touch it like it's basically just like a lukewarm on the outside here it's a lot warmer on the inside you can tell that I have a candle in here and I'm gonna show you that I can still like touch this but it's de it's definitely pretty warm so you know I'm not holding it down here because that wax is pretty warm um this is completely melted this is a Yankee candle sugared vanilla and I'm gonna set this down so I don't drop it I have had this in my warmer now for two straight days, like 24 hours. There is still plenty of fragrance in there. The reason that I'm melting that one is because it's one of the Woodwick candles and they soot like crazy. There was no way I was going to burn this in my freshly painted downstairs anymore. No way. The amount of soot that collected on this bad way was insane. I actually did an in-depth review of my this very candle right here. And you can see in that video how much soot accumulated just on the side of the jar. So that one got relegated to melting duty very quickly. <laughs> but here you can see the inside of the candle crock. And, um, you know, this one is nice because it heats from the bottom. And then um, the heat also travels up the inside here. Now, the sides here are not heated. I have seen other warmers where you get like the 360 degree like heating bottom and like around the sides this one just warms from the bottom but because it's so insulated and this metal here carries the heat it's like you're warming it from like basically all around with the exception of the top because there's no top on here obviously but um this one is really really nice I liked the looks of this one um it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, when I looked at it online, I was like, oh, that looks kind of small. I don't want it like a dinky candle crock. They're not dinky. You can fit anything from a Yankee candle to a Bath and Body Works candle in here. Um, they fit really nicely, so that means that Goose Creek. I've also put a Kringle candle in here. And I really like this one a lot because I feel like it releases fragrance from candles that... It releases fragrance better and faster from candles that are like more than half full so it does take a while for them to pull out you can probably expect a half full or, or completely full candle to take several hours to pull out the first time but then you can just leave it on and it's like good to go like that one I've had going like I said, I think for two days straight now, and I can still smell it like throughout the entire downstairs of my house. This candle was decently strong on its own when it was burning, but it's honestly stronger and smells better now that I am just melting it versus when I was burning it. Because when I was burning it, I was smelling that wood wick in there and it smelled smoky and I just didn't care for it. Honestly, I would say that a lot of my candles smell a lot better when they are melting than when they are burning because I feel like the lowered temperature doesn't change like the the scent of the wax as much if that makes sense or the scent of like the fragrance. So that really works well for me. I'm going to show you guys what my Kringle <clears throat> candle looked like because this used to be a two wick you can see that the wicks were completely lost in here when it hardened back up this is the Kringle vanilla cone and this barely has any fragrance left in it I left this in the crock pot here for a full week and got every ounce of fragrance out of it that I could I decided to melt this bad boy even though it was I mean it was still mostly like a new candle because this just started smelling funny and it got really discolored and I didn't like the fragrance of it anymore. But when I put it in the warmer, the fragrance was much nicer. It was much more like the original vanilla cone candle that I received um, when I first placed my order. So this one just worked out much better in the, um, in the candle crock. So again, had it in there for about a week, got all the fragrance out. Now I can freeze this, pop the wax out, and um, reuse this for something else. I don't, I don't know what, but I'll reuse it for something. I try to recycle all of my containers. I have, I'll also post a video down below to show you how I clean the wax out of the, the, the jars when I'm done. 
Um, you could certainly just pour the wax out when it was still warm like this, but um, I feel like that's a little more messy. I might have to do that with this because you can see the opening is smaller up top than it is in the middle here. So this one I will probably end up pouring out because I do want to keep this jar. It's really pretty. It's got like a log wood design on it. So I'm just going to pop that back in here really quickly. Um, but again, this is one where you have the little clicker here. And like I said, I leave mine plugged in 24 hours a day. You certainly don't have to. But um, I find that once the bigger candles are completely melted out, it's just nice to like finish them up. So again, this is not going to be for everybody. Like some people really like the ambiance of burning their candles and I certainly still do as well. I'm not saying that I'm completely stopping burning. I think probably what I'm gonna do is with Bath and Body Works candles, probably burn like the first half of my candle, then put it on the warmer or put it in the crock. Only because I find that most Bath and Body Works candles tend to like peter out towards the midpoint anyway or they discolor and get ugly or they the smell changes like it just gets funky um or the wicks drown i mean there's all sorts of problems that can happen with bath and body works candles so for me you know i'll still always burn candles but if any candle is giving me a problem it's gonna go straight to like melting duty <laughs> it's done um i'll probably get more use out of the candles that way anyway so that's my game plan. Hopefully this was informative for you guys. Again, I ordered both of these off of Amazon. I'll put links down below for you guys if you wanna follow the links there. Um, really great investment. The medallion one here I paid, I think, $21.99 for. And then this one I think was either $14 or $15. So both really affordable. If I had to choose, like if I could just get one, I would probably get the candle crock. By the way, if you wanted to also use your candle crock to um, like melt tarts, all you would have to do is just clean out a Bath and Body Works candle and then stick that into your crock pot and then um, basically just plop your wax melts in there and it would heat up just the same. So you could totally use this as like a regular melter. Do not do not just put your wax melts in the bottom of this don't do that <laughs> it's not intended for that if you have some kind of like heat safe um glass container use that to put in there and then put your wax melts in there so you could definitely do that anyway there you go hopefully this was informative for you guys i really recommend these crocs and these you know just hot plate warmers i think they're fantastic they're multi-use and um I plan on picking up another one of these for sure because this has definitely been very, very like, this has been a great investment. <laughs> I really like this. I feel so secure just being able to leave the house and not having to worry about like, oh my God, did I blow the candles out? Like, it's fine. Um, you know, so some people think this might be wasteful because you have all this wax left over. It's not wasteful. I mean, I got all the fragrance out of it. So, and, that, and that's what I'm using the candle for. <laughs> not using it for you know the wax like don't really care about that as long as I get the fragrance out of it that's that's what I use candles for in my home is home fragrance so anyway let me know if you guys have any additional questions down below I hope this was helpful please subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video bye